Good morning and welcome to Spirit of Life Catholic Church as we prepare our hearts for um, Holy Mass. Um, and we invite you to stand and sing this song with us, the entrance hymn. Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the country of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. We came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O God, who, through the grace of adoption, chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Kings. One day, Elisha came to Shunem, where there was a woman of influence who urged him to dine with her. Afterward, whenever he passed by, he used to stop there to dine. So she said to her husband, I know that Elisha is a holy man of God. Since he visits us often, let us arrange a little room on the roof and furnish it for him with a bed, table, chair, and lamp so that when he comes to us, he can stay there. Some time later, Elisha arrived and stayed in the room overnight. Later, Elisha asked, can something be done for her? His servant, Gehazi, answered, yes. She has no son and her husband is getting on in years. Alicia said, Call her. When the woman had been called and stood at the door, Alicia promised, This time next year, you will be fondling a baby son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. of the Lord I will sing forever through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness for you have said my kindness is established forever in heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness forever Blessed the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day. And through your justice they are exalted forever. The splendor of their strength, and by your favor our horn is exalted. For to the Lord belongs our shield, and to the Holy One of Israel our King. For
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If, then, we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. Whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because the little one is a disciple, amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. In the end of, uh, so uh, in these three weeks, we're at the end of three weeks, where in the, in the midst of Matthew's gospel, he speaks of mission, of sending the disciples out on mission, of being on, uh, on mission, on what his mission is. But today, at the end of both the gospel and the first reading, we have a, another piece, another end of the mission, and, and this is this, that that those who assist the mission are rewarded. The woman receives a child, and Jesus talks about the different rewards for a just 
uh, that someone who helps a just person receives. And so it speaks of the reward of, of contributing to the mission of the gospel, of Jesus Christ, of the apostles, and of the church. And you can understand as, as the pastor of Spirit of Life how happy I am to, uh, to hear this because it gives me a chance to talk about the collection. See, everybody thinks that priests only work one day a week and they, all they're concerned about is the collection. And that's not really, that's not really completely true. It's partially true. <laughs> we have to be concerned about all of these things, of course. Uh, and I know that Spirit of Life, uh, like my previous parish and like many of the parishes in the dio diocese, uh, for a time uh, had worked with uh, Catholic stewardship consultants and you know they they, they gave a, a helpful guideline once upon a time about uh, about tithing and, and the biblical tithe is mentioned in the Bible not so much as listen this is what you should do but as a matter of course it, it, it says it speaks of offering a tithe of wheat a tithe of and that's a tenth and and that's just sort of taken for granted it's not something that, that, uh, that is especially emphasized, but a tenth. Uh, and Catholic stewardship consultants said, divided that up and said, oh, so 5% to the parish, 4% to uh, other good causes, and 1% to the diocese. It would be a great way to, to sort of divide that up. But here's the thing about the tenth, giving a tenth. It represents the whole. A tenth is one of our ten fingers, and we have only ten fingers. And, and, and so each one, each one represents the whole thing. In other words, the purpose of giving a tithe is not to give something because Father is going to talk about the collection if we don't, but rather because God has given us everything, and so we, we, we make a return that represents and that sh signifies that we are giving back to God everything, everything. And a tenth is a nice rule of thumb because, you know, if a tenth of whatever I have is a tenth. And so it shows that if, I'm, if I don't have much, I have to be generous to give that. And if I have much, I have to be generous to give that. <coughs> the other thing that, I, that I've wanted to talk about for some time uh, with regard to this is, you know, not just to give that rule of thumb, you've heard, I'm just saying that you've heard that, but also to talk about the children's collection. Because uh, for me, that's one of the great things that, uh, that I inherited. Uh, at, uh, at another parish and that, uh, that I see here and that I love. Why do I love it? Well, first of all, because when I was much younger, I watched a cousin of mine grab a, a roll of quarters out of her pocket for all the younger cousins so that for the collection, she just sort of handed quarters out to all the all the children in her in her pew uh, this was at you know a family reunion and to see their faces light up and to see them able to participate in something that's part of of, of the service of, of the order of service part of the way that 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 we support the church it's also a precept of the church right that we ought to according to our means support the the, the work of the church uh, and and to see that, I, it was delightful to watch it, especially from this particular cousin, because uh, because I, there were there were there were some things that that I thought, oh, well, that's interesting, uh, and there were and there was this where I thought, wow, that's really insightful. But the other reason that I, I, I that I like to talk about it is because sometimes people think that I'm just being greedy. In fact. Uh, uh, at my last parish, I got a nasty letter uh, from uh, somebody who didn't like it. They said, oh, you're just being greedy. 
And I want you to know something. First of all, the children's collection does not take up a very large portion of the, of the money we need to run this place or of the collection that's given by people on Sundays. And some of the kids, I notice, bring their parents' envelope. And, and that means that the parents aren't putting anything in, right? Uh, or rather, they're putting something in through their kids, and that's, that's what they're doing. It, it, it's not about how much we get in or that this is a little bonus that we get. This is, this is about the, the children. It's about, it's about giving back to God. <laughs> And it's about the example that children give us in doing it. This is what I love. The children come running up, and some of them even make sounds because they're, they're putting so much money into the collection. I love that. I love that. Uh, some of them are so careful. And I, I imagine that this, this uh, fits their character anyway. Some of them are so careful. They place quietly and reverently their gift to Jesus into the basket. Wouldn't it be great if all of us considered our gift big enough to make a large noise? <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if all of us considered how reverent we should be in in placing our gift before the Lord because we're giving it to the Lord. It's just so beautiful to see that. And now, here's the other thing that people say to me or have said to me in the past. Well, uh, Father, it's easy for the children because they just got that quarter from their cousin. Or they just got that quarter from mom and dad. Or they just got that dollar. Or they got the whole envelope from mom and dad. It's, it's really easy for them to give it up because they just got it. I, again, I think this is a beautiful thing for us to recognize. I had a student once who said to me, Father, I don't need God. Everything, everything I have, I earned. Everything I have, I got by myself. He was living under his parents' roof. They gave him a car. They were feeding him, and he ate a lot. He didn't make the electricity that powered all of his telephone and other devices. Somebody else made that. The gas that is pumped out of the ground, he wasn't working in the oil field yet. And the food that he ate, farmers raised. All of us stand within a community, and all of us stand on the shoulders of others. So whenever we say, I don't need God, part of what we're saying is also, I don't need anybody else. And the truth is, God has given us life and breath. <laughs> God has given us so much. And I had to say to him, you know, I, I realize that now, that that seems the way it is, but someday you will be weak and you will rely on others to take you where you cannot go. Someday you will be sick and you'll need someone to take care of you. It's true, we all have to work hard. But it is also true that we are all graced and gifted with much. All is, as St. Therese of Lisieux said, the little flower, tu es grâce, all is grace. Pardon me if you actually speak French, I don't. Um, but the fact of the matter is, even the money that we earn has just been given to us. Everything that we have has been received in some way, shape, or form. And yes, our labors are important to that. But our labors are important in so many other ways. All has been given to us so that we may share and love through, through the gift that God has made. But 
Back to the point of today's readings, those second parts, and what Jesus says to us today. God is not un outdone in generosity. And I'm not saying that you should give so you can get, but rather we should give because we've received forgiveness, mercy, and grace. We should give because we are receiving the very body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus, his strength for this day, and even his perseverance when things are not easy. And we should give because he is giving and will give us deeper holiness and sanctity, and even heaven someday. But that being said, even that, <laughs> even in the midst of that, the Lord says through his prophet, how can I give back to this widow or this woman? And then he says to his disciples, those who give to a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Those who assist the righteous will receive a just man's reward. There's something about it that's, that's beautiful and that's helpful for us to hear. may seem harsh and difficult sometimes. Without grace, we could not take up the cross and follow him. But we are baptized, baptized, sharers in divine life. We can pray with confident faith in the God who loves us. For all people who have been baptized into the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for leaders of nations who seek truth, justice, and reverence for human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those Christians who have given up everything in following the call of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the spirit of welcome, encouragement, and support of our pastors, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have asked for our prayers through the prayer line and the prayer basket, and for those who have died and for those who grieve them, that they may find comfort in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, through the new life of baptism, we are your sons and daughters. Hear the prayers of your adopted children and give us the grace to follow your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We do invite the children to make their offering by coming forward.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Renewed, uh, may, O God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one exultant chorus of praise as we are praised.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess you as a the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit, in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Swithin, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the 
the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all within me, his holy name.
into the water those without hope all those in need come without money for there is a abundance love given freely to all who believe come all oh, come come to the banquet come to the table come to the salvation come to the altar come taste and see gather together we come to listen the living word we taste and
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. There will be donuts and refreshments in the activity center next Saturday after the, or next Sunday after the 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. masses uh, to gather and to welcome Father Patrick. Uh, and so that's uh, after masses next weekend. Uh, collection for the Holy Father, that is Peter's Pence, which could be another one uh, percent, uh, is this weekend. Envelopes are gathered, in, are in the gathering space for you. Outreach will be closed tomorrow and the next day, and the parish office will be closed on July 4th. Uh, I hope you all have a, a happy uh, Independence Day. There will be a 7 a.m. Mass on that day, uh, but there will be no 9 a.m. Mass that day. Uh, it's hard to get back and forth across the road, and, uh, and i got to be on a float, so... Uh, uh, yeah. uh, so I will, uh, uh, oh, and so the other thing I wanted to say is if there's any guests here for Independence Day, welcome. We're glad you're here. Uh, welcome to the uh, fireworks capital of the world. <laughs> you, can, you can't tell yet, but uh, tomorrow you will, and the day after. Um, maybe that's why you're here. So. Uh, one other thing that, uh, that uh, I like about the children's co collection is that I'm able to say thank you. I'm able to say thank you as they come up. That's not something I'm able to do as the basket goes around. I suppose I could put a little recording on there or something like that. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm not talking about money here today or the collection today to tell you, gee, uh, we really need a lot more money, uh, but rather, uh, because it's important for us to understand its placement within the Mass and, and why, why this is part of the Christian uh, activity that we have. Um, and so, uh, in other words, what I'm saying is, I think we do pretty well, and I, and I thank you for, for all that you've done already uh, in the last year uh, with uh, the chairs and the, the, cover and the, and the kneelers and and uh, with all the other things that, that get taken care of around this parish, where I'm not always coming to you saying, oh, I don't know how we're gonna do this. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Uh, I, I'm just really grateful, and so thank you. Thank you. And, uh, um, and what, when I was in the Holy Land, I, I, I went and uh, uh, got an enthusiastic and got us some Stations of the Cross. Um, and, uh, and I also got rosaries uh, as a way to say thank you. So there, there's, we gave them out uh, a couple weeks ago and last week. There's still some more out in the, in the lobby, in the uh, gathering space, that's what we call it, in the gathering space there for those who didn't get one yet. Uh, there, are, there are more 
uh, rosaries out there. The stations, um, I, I, uh, I said I got a little enthusiastic. Uh, I want you to know that, uh, that uh, I, I did get them, and I, am, I asked uh, if I could get some help from the, uh, and, uh, and some people said, yeah, I'd love to help. And so if, if that's something that, as part of your thing, in a, as a memorial or something like that, if you want to help with the stations, uh, they, they were pretty expensive, and, uh, and I will uh, continue to pay for them. But if somebody wants to help, I'll take the help. Because <laughs> uh, Bishop doesn't pay us uh, for that. Uh, and, uh, and so I, I just want you to know that, that that's an opportunity for you if you want to take it. And if you don't, and if you say, well, I don't like those anyway, I'm okay with that. That's not the point. The point is to give you the opportunity if you want to. And some people have asked for that. Uh, uh, some of them are already paid for. Uh, and, uh, and I just want to let you know that, uh, that if you want to, you can assist. Uh, just let us know that it's for that. Uh, but again, the rosaries uh, are also not just a thank you, but, but a desire to be generous with you. Uh, and so, uh, please take a rosary if you haven't gotten one. And, if you are a guest and you think, oh, this priest, all he ever talks about is money, it's not true. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.